If you know you have a rodent problem in your restaurant, you're only days away from your customers knowing as well. Hi, my name is James with Animals in the Attic Restaurant Division. Keep watching and get more tips on solutions and prevention. If you think you have rodents in your restaurant, subscribe to our channel and watch the videos to learn more. We all know you clean the oil in your fryer, but if you take a look on the outside, grease typically builds up on the outside of those and provides a great food source for rats. Make sure you scrape it down and clean it every day. We know you're cleaning your kitchen floors, but are you going the extra mile and getting on your hands and knees with a flashlight? checking for the smallest bits of food. Well, if you're trying to prevent or solve a rodent problem, you have to. It's imperative you remove every bit of food every night because the smallest amount of food can sustain the rat population and keep this problem growing. If you have found this information helpful, click on the like button below. If you own a restaurant, more than likely you've got checklists. Whether you use them or not, depends on you. Your daily routine is pretty straightforward, or should be. You come into your business, you check out the crew from the night before, make sure you have stock of everything, and you've got a plan for the day for prepping and getting ready to open. Checklists are key. You need one to open your restaurant every morning. Even if you don't have a rodent problem, you need to know that the prep crew and the line cooks and the front of the house staff are doing their jobs at the end of the night, and your managers, which you pay well, are doing their jobs by double checking the process. Checklists are key. Routines are key, whether you have rodents in your restaurant or not. If you have any questions or need help, call or text me at the number below. I'll get back to you quickly, and I'll discreetly solve your problem. Thank you.